practice test 2 we're at question 55 in the diagram which of the following is true all right you have e angle e and you have two sides so let's look at this here sine e is equal to well you're dealing with opposite when you look at sine so it's not a cosine of e is adjacent 12 over 17 what this is saying it will be 12 over 17 well it seemed to be b let's see if anything's wrong with c sine e is opposite again we're not dealing with an opposite here tan e is opposite over adjacent the opposite we don't know we don't know the opposite so this sine and this tan cannot work out it has to be b so question 55 b then we look at question 56 On question 56 if 1 over f is equal to 1 third plus a quarter then f equal all right so 1 over f is equal to One over three plus one over four. What is F? Now let's look at this. Three and four. LCM is twelve. Three into twelve goes four times. Four ones four plus four into twelve goes three times. Three ones three. Four and three seven. Seven over twelve. So 1 over f is equal to 7 over 12. So when you flip them, find the reciprocal f over 1, which is f, is 12 over 7. All right? So this is C. 56 is fifty-six. They're saying it's A. Let's see, 1 over f is equal to 1 third plus a quarter, 3 into 12, 4, 4, 1, 4, plus 4 into 12, 3, 3, 1, 3, 7 over 12, that's 1 over f. Then, f over 1 would be 12 over 7. Right. person who did the solution seems to have made a mistake here. Because they're saying that 56 is A. 7 over 12. This is 1 over F. It should be F over 1. Now, one way, one other way that you could do this. Suppose you have, for example, oh, you don't have a calculator. I was thinking of substituting these numbers into these answers into the function and see what you get all right all right now i'm saying that this is 12 over 7 not 7 over 12 all right another way you could look at this one third is 0 0.33 about 0.333 plus a quarter is 0 0.25 when you add these you get 5 6 7 8 3 4 5 0 0.583 it's 1 over f now if you refine the reciprocal f over 1 is equal to 1 over 0 0.583 this should be more than 
the answer should be greater than 1. 1 over a number that is less than 1 is going to be greater than 1. So it cannot be 7 over 12. Right? And you could also use a calculator. You're not in exam now. Just to check, since we have an error here, you could use a calculator and work it out. And it would indeed show you that the answer is C, not A. Alright, so I'll have to make a note on the paper. There is an error here. Now, let's look at the next question, question 57. A circular hole with a diameter 6 cm is cut out of a circular piece of card with diagram with diameter of 12 cm. The area of the remaining card is all right, you have circular hole 6 cm is cut out of a circular piece of card diameter 12 cm so all of this diameter 12 and the hole has diameter 6 now how do you find the area the area of the remaining car the remaining card the area the radius here is 3 and the radius here is 6 so remember the half of the diameter is the radius so, to find the area of the remaining card, what you'll do is find the area of the cardboard, find the area of the hole, and you subtract them, and you get the area that remains. Remember, the area is pi r squared, so it's for, the, for everything, it's pi times 6 squared minus then for the whole is pi times 3 squared you could do it otherwise but I'm just doing it like this in terms of you could have done the 6 squared is 36 first but it doesn't really matter 36 pi minus 9 pi what is 36 minus 9 is going to be what 27 27 pi b 57 is saying b so it is b all right so you subtract both areas find both areas and subtract them and you get the answer here or you get the area of the remaining card what about 58 Question 58, if 2x minus 1 is less than or equal to 3x plus 6, then x is, alright, 2x minus 1 is less than or equal to 3x plus 6. Let's put like terms together. Subtract 3x from both sides, you minus 3x minus 3x. So you have 2x minus 1 minus 3x is less than or equal to 3x minus 3x. This is gone. It's 6. Numbers. Sub, no, you don't subtract. Add 1 to both sides. So 2x minus 1 minus 3x is less than or equal to 6. You add 1. You add 1. Negative 1 plus 1 is 0, so it's 2x minus 3x is less than or equal to 6 plus 1. Let's just write 7 for it. 6 plus 1, which is 7. Alright, so backtracking a bit is not that you move the 3x over to the left and it becomes negative. Right? 
is not that you take this trix and move it over here and it becomes negative no it's subtract 3x there's no mathematical expression called move the four basic ones are add subtract multiply and divide and you subtract 3x so that's what happened this negative one is not that you move it over to the right and it become positive no you add one so negative one plus one is zero you don't have any more ones over here but it you add one here you add one to this to get rid of the neg negative one and you must add one to the right 2x minus 3x is what negative x negative x is less than or equal to 7 but then you want positive x so you multiply both sides by a negative 1 negative 1 times negative x gives you positive x negative 1 times 7 gives you 7 but remember you must now turn around the sign all right you must switch the sign around when you multiply by a negative one so it's going to be x is greater than negative 7 58 is a all right 58 is a 59 and rem remember um there's a reason why you should switch the sign around if you would didn't remember you could mention that and I'll explain it a bit further all right 59 4 over x plus 4 is equal to 16 and x is equal to let's see 4 over x plus 4 4 is equal to 16 what you could do is take these and add to 4 and see what you get for 16 or you could just work it out straight subtract 4 from both sides you minus 4 over here minus 4 over here you have 4 over x is equal to 16 minus 4 is what 12 over 1 now if you multiply both sides by x and multiply both sides by 1 some people say you cross multiply you get 4 by 1 it is 4 is equal to 12 by x which is 12 x then you divide by 12 divide by 12 12 into 12 1 12 into 12 1 4 into 4 1 4 into 12 3 so it's 1 third 59 c question 59 is b i mean B. All right, one third B. And then question 60. I have to zoom out to see question 60. Or to see all of question 60. <coughs> all right. Now it says. The diagram shows the graph of 3x minus y is equal to 1. And it also shows 5x plus 2y is equal to 20. Which ordered pair satisfies both equations? Alright. Now, it's really a pair of simultaneous equations being solved graphically. And you know where the lines intersect is the answer. They intersect at x is 2 and y is 5. So it would be 2, 5. Is there a 2, 5 here? There's a 2, 5 at c. So the answer for c, 60 is c. Alright? So question 60, c. Alright, so that's it for this paper remember anything here you saw and do understand just make a note of it and if it, remember if you see somebody post a question about something they do understand and you understand it you should help that person out by commenting on what they had said right
in addition I will make my comments as well all right so that's it for now we'll move on to the next paper some other time